Clearwater Beach has the perfect sand to not only play on and climb, but to build things with. It's so sugar-like. And today, we are going to show you some incredible sand sculptures made by some of the best sculptors from around the world. I'll start working on my masterpiece right now. What's new here at Sugar Sand 2017? Well, we are standing underneath a 21,000 square foot tent here at the Pier 60 Sugar Sand Festival. Uh, we have 11 master sculptors who uh, carved out the exhibit this year. A thousand tons of sand. Wow, that's a lot of sand. Where did all these great sculptors come from? We have sculptors this year who are from Spain, Canada, England, Kentucky, and all over the United States. And was there a theme this year? This year's theme is Sugar Sand Fantasy. Fantasy is uh, spelled with a capital S-E-A, and it's a magical adventure above and below the sea. So a lot of sea creatures I'm going to A lot to see. of mythical mermaids, sea creatures, uh, sunken ships, pirates. And do they have a set amount of sand and a set amount of time in they which do. to create they this masterpiece? They actually have the next, the next 48 hours, they're on the pile, and they're here. You can see them sculpting live underneath the tent. Are you ever not surprised when you come and do this every year? Every year, I can honestly say this is our fifth year, and from the time we started to this year, every year I'm amazed by uh, the amount of talent that comes in and the sculptures, they just keep getting bigger and better. And what is it about Clearwater Sand that makes it so great for sculpting? Well, for decades, people have referred to the consistency of our sand being sugar-like, hence the name Sugar Sand Festival. It's cool to the touch, um, it's not hot when you walk on it, and of course it's, it's white. And we appreciate that with all this hot sun coming yes, down do. to have nice cool tootsies, it's a bonus. Mm -hmm. So this piece is huge. Yes, it is. This is actually really special. This is Benjamin Prabanza's piece. He's from Spain, and if you look at his artwork, he's inspired by Dali. And this is the first year on the pile. Oh, wow. It looks like he's got a little merman there. Yes, a little merman. If you look at the bird, there's actually a bird man, but his art is so intricate, uh, very artistic. It really is. Out there, but so cool. Very cool. I recognize a familiar face here. Yes, this is actually a fan favorite. This is our SpongeBob area by Dean R. Scott. He's one of our local sand sculptors. You can see the jellyfish fields and uh, the pineapple house. He is so good. Oh, I know this place, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Absolutely, a trip to Clearwater Beach would not be complete without visiting Winter. Did Winter sculpt this? Actually, uh, she didn't, but we have featured uh, Rufus and of course the sea turtles and uh, an otter. I see some action over here, Lisa. Yes, actually we have two very distinguished guests here today in our Sugar Sand Walk exhibit tent. <gasps> wow, look at that. This is a huge surprise. This is a huge surprise. Holy cow, I love it. I've never been sculpted in sand before. Yes. Gentlemen, you're responsible for this? Uh, you could say that, yeah. So when, how did this happen? How, and, and how do you like doing people's faces? Is that tough? Because you did a great job. Well, thank you. Yeah, just a couple hours today, got uh, assigned it this morning and just started working away at it. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it, it was fun. I mean, you get one photo of each person, just work away at it. And hopefully when they show up, they don't say, oh my God, that's not me. How difficult was Jerry's face in particular? There are lots of grooves, lots of lines. <laughs> well, I think Dan knocked it right out of the park. And the daytime sign too, you didn't, you didn't, Skip anything. You got our show, the essence of our show. I think this could be an award winner. If you say so, I'm with you. I, I, I like your attitude. I Thank like you. you. Come around a lot more often. Thank you. This must never be destroyed. I love it. I want to take it home. It's perfect. We, got, we should put it on the set. What do you think? I agree. I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. So if you can't get to Florence, Italy to see the statue of David, I give you the next best thing. Jerry Panicoli, immortalized in sand. At least for a few days. Looking good, buddy.